My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid fried chicken popcorn, get whatever you may need! And I hope you enjoy the video. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, my peeps? Hope everybody's having a good day today. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday out this sucker, you know? Um, so yeah. Here we are, man. <laughs> uh, in this video, I'm gonna be doing my, uh, you know, my little first impressions, my, uh, my current thoughts of what I think about Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, this is a game that a lot of people been hyping up, man. And y'all know how hard I try to avoid that word these days, hype, because you know being through the years we've been in this generation of gaming there's been a lot of games that we've hyped up and they don't end up being that good <laughs> you know so i try to avoid you know uh getting hyped for a game these days but it, it, it was kind of hard to do that for this game so a lot of people are looking forward to this game a lot of people want to play this game that junk is obvious because as soon as that junk as soon as this beta be, truly became an open beta for everyone to play suck it ain't nobody playing no more <laughs> like i was able to find games and play with a relative ease but now that it's truly open for everyone on ps4 and xbox one suck it i tried to sign on not too long ago guess what uh-uh <laughs> that 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 jump right now is like the master chief collection when that jump first came out so obviously a lot of people are trying to play this game and get their hands on it so yeah this is just going to be my first impressions of what i think about dragon ball fighters you guys please let me know uh your current thoughts you know if you've been playing the uh beta well if you've been able to play the you know the uh beta and stuff like that so let's get into it my first impressions of dragon ball fighters so far L let's do a pros and cons okay uh <laughs> the, the stuff that i like about the game and the stuff that I don't really like or I'm not too fond of at the current moment or not quite that sure of how it's going to play out. So the pros of Dragon Ball Fighters, this game is fun as heck, dude. I don't know if you guys seen, you know, the uh, vid that I put up yesterday of my first time playing it. But as you could tell, I was having a damn blast. <laughs> okay, the game is fun as heck. L, dude, in your face, high speed, nonstop action, featuring some of your favorite Dragon Ball characters, you know, both old school and new school in the game. So I love how fun the game is as far as like a fighting game. I haven't had this much fun on a fighter probably since I was saying on Twitch, maybe Super Smash Bros. Melee. And that's a good <laughs> that is a good class to be in so as far as fun factor this game is like second to none so i love how fun the uh, game is and 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 the uh nice mesh up of uh old school characters and uh you know new school uh characters in uh, the uh, series you know so that's good visuals the visuals in this game are amazing the transitions in this game are amazing when you freaking do like a freaking ultimate special and you freaking release that kamehameha and it like freaking blows up the whole planet you know and stuff like that or like just just the way they you know transition you know from one you know i guess from one stage to like the uh next you know if like you do a, a special or like you knock them out and then like they go flying into like a mountain and or stuff like that i love the transitions in in this game and that's something that i haven't seen or at least something that I haven't really liked that much since probably Budokai 3. I hold, me personally, I hold Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 3 at the top tier. That was my favorite dra uh, Dragon Ball game of all time. Um, You know, a lot of these other newer ones, they, you know, once it started to, to, to become, you know, not... 2d but then you was able to like you know fly around and stuff like that and i get why they did that because that's such a huge part of dragon ball you know but once they started doing that like i kind of seen the transitions take like a fallback you know <laughs> so it seems like when you have a 2d you know a uh, fighting game that's when like the transitions are really good and stuff like that so i love the visuals love the uh transitions all that stuff is great 
Um, another thing I like about this game is the game is easy to pick up, man. Like, um, honestly, and uh, this is also going into my cons, but the game is easy to pick up, you know, and uh, once you, you know, go into, because they do have the uh, tutorial in, in uh, this beta, <laughs> once you're able to get in, hopefully you can at least play that, <laughs> you know, luckily I've already played the tutorial and my fair share of uh, games, but you know, um, once, once you go to the uh, tutorial, you know, they'll show, you know, they'll show you all the ins and outs of, of this game and how you do what and stuff like that, and the game is pretty easy to pick up man like you should have no problem at all <laughs> picking up this game okay um the voiceovers now this is especially in anime this is always like i've always just seen a split uh, a split crowd with this when it comes to voiceovers especially in the dweeb world <laughs> okay i think the english voiceovers in this game are amazing from Frieza to Vegeta, Cell, Nappa, I mean, Beerus. Like, I actually love the English voiceovers. And they haven't always been good. And, you know, uh, again, some people, I've seen some people completely, like, just crap on the, Eng you know, crap on the English voiceovers. And they refuse to play this game if they're speaking English, you know. And I've seen that so much, but... You know, me growing up on just, you know, you know, Dragon Ball Z with English voiceovers, you know, I'm, I'm I, I guess I'm not as uh, critical on, you know, what I'm trying to hear or like how they sound or stuff like that. To me, voiceovers for the English, you know, actors don't don't sound bad at all. Uh, Cell actually sounds really good. Frieza sounds good. Napa sound, you know, all those people that I, uh, that I just said. I, I was actually surprised by the uh, voiceovers. I mean, this was a pro, but as of now, I don't know if I should scratch this junk off. <laughs> the last one I had that I liked about the game is I was surprised by the netcode, you know, as you're playing the game, you know, it that was one of my biggest fears of this game when it comes out. And after, you know, this truly became an open beta, you know, today, and now everyone's able on PS4 to play it and Xbox One is to play it, that's kind of, that might go on my, con I don't know. Because I really don't, you really don't know until the game comes out. But you're starting to see it now, like, when there's a heavy influx of traffic of suckers trying to play your game, how is the net code going to play? Like, how are the servers and the netcode going to hold up? So that was all my pros, because as when I was playing the game, shout out to uh, John Marston, one of my favorite uh, Twitch viewers in the whole wide world. He got me early access to this game. Um, when I was playing it um, and when I was finding games, the netcode wasn't bad, man. Now, some games were laggy of course you would run into those games that you felt like you was playing on like the nintendo switch or you felt like you was playing scale bound crackdown 3 stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know you did run into those games but it wasn't like you know it was like a rare occurrence stuff i'm not too sure about the game you know stuff i'm not too you know quite that fond of or you know i i, I just have to see how they play out uh the cons for this game um is the game is easy. Like, really easy. <laughs> like, remember, one of my pros was the game is easy to pick up. Oh, yeah. you Yeah, it is. <laughs> this game is easy to pick up. A little too easy for my liking. Now, I don't, I don't know how to feel about this because, you know... I mean, almost in a way, Super Smash Brothers is a easy, you know, is a easy game to pick up. Like you can do, like they have like, you know, one button combos in that game too, and stuff like that. But it's the little nuances about Smash Brothers that separates the good people from the bad. So I'm hoping it's gonna play out the same way in this game. But one thing I do not like about this game is how easy it really is, man. Like, I, I, I didn't expect that. And 
shockingly for the people that was in the closed beta and were playing this game you know for a while who had like early access i didn't hear that from nobody at least like not to the extent that i'm talking about like when i'm talking about this game is easy suck it you can get your like one-year-old cousin i bet money he he could pull off a 20 hit combo <laughs> bet money bro <laughs> i bet money he can pull it off like you can literally do one but you can mash square and get off like a seven to ten hit combo you you can mash triangle and get off a nice combo and then at the end you might do a big bang attack or a kame hot like there are li there are literally buttons that you can just press over and over again just mash mash square mash triangle and you and you doing straight combos, fam. So I don't really know how to feel about that because I don't know. I, I, I just feel like when I play fighters, I like to feel like when I'm doing combos, like, oh, yeah, I'm a beast. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if y'all uh, I don't know if y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Like when I'm doing combos and I'm going in, I like to feel like, oh yeah, all that time is paying off. We doing straight combos on that ass, you know, but in this one it's like, hey, I'm doing combos. That's nice. <laughs> because everybody is doing like you can it, it's literally this game is way more of a button masher than i thought it would be i don't really and again like I, I i think we have to wait until the game actually comes out because training mode is not in this beta uh the combo challenge is not in this beta i don't know how much more of the game is going to open up once the game actually finally comes out so I don't know if we're just seeing like a little bit, you know, of what this game has to offer. Because even the move list for all these characters, very basic. Like I'm talking about maybe the hardest thing you might have to do is like, <laughs> not even that to be honest with you. Like literally every move in this game is maybe two buttons required. Like. It's very easy, dude. So I'm I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I do not like the auto combos in this game. You literally just press square, press triangle, and you're just like pulling off. You can literally press R1 in this game. And I think you do. I think that's the dragon rush, I think they call it. And that's like a 30 hit combo. And that's just by pressing one button. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> you know, so not again it's a good thing that this game is easy to to pick up but at the same time and this is not just for fighters i like all my games to have somewhat of a learn uh, of a learning curve to it and i just don't know how big this curve is going to be <laughs> when this game comes out on the 26th so uh last but not least um and i didn't even know this junk was in the game like at all like i even hear a peep about this, this junk so it kind of caught me off guard and by surprise they have this built-in dragon ball system and hopefully when the when the full game comes out like this is an option that you could take off hopefully this junk ain't built into the game because i don't know how i feel about this junk so they have this built-in dragon ball system reward for doing auto combos and the only one that I've seen that actually registers you getting one of the Dragon Balls is by pressing square so if you mash square and you do like you know the auto com you do the auto combo that comes with that you earn a Dragon Ball and if you could earn all seven during the match you can summon Shinron, and if one of your allies is dead, you can revive your ally, you can restore your health, or you can be granted, like, ultimate power or something like that. Now, the key to actually getting this thing, once you get all of the Dragon Balls, you also have to have seven key gauge. So you have to be charged up to seven bars, and then once you do another mashing square combo you then summon shinron and that's how you uh you know can use the dragon ball systems and apparently 
from what I've heard from the people that's been playing this game for a while already, it's also going to be in ranked matches. And again, I don't know how to feel about this junk because I just feel like it almost feels like you know how in um in a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, Infinite they uh, got those uh they got those stones. And it's called, uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're all called, but I know one is called Reality Stuff. <laughs> you know, and like people are like spamming that junk the whole time. It kind of feels like that to a certain extent, you know. I, I just feel like when you're playing this game online, you know, suck it. Listen, I, and I didn't even mention this. Do you know that people are already rage quitting in this beta? I've had I've had at least maybe seven to eight people rage quit on me <laughs> already in this beta and I'm just like my guy <laughs> it's a beta if you rage quitting already in a beta you simply have no shame <laughs> whatsoever so if they doing that could you just imagine what they're gonna do with a Dragon Ball system? Yeah, I'm. I'm not too sure how I feel about that as of right now. You know, because I just feel like if, if if that's the case, it's going to be like almost a race to who can get the Dragon Balls. But I mean, I think it would be harder. I think it would be more hard to do than it seems like in game. Because you have to get seven key gauge. So really the only way to get seven key is unless you're either doing straight combos. Or I, th I think you get key as well if... Do you get key when you're getting damaged by the opponent? I don't know. But I think if... No, I, I know for a fact when you're doing combos, you can also build up your key. But you can also charge up by pressing the square and X button. And that's how you charge up. But I just feel like because you can just press one button to rush over, which is the R2 button, it can be very hard to get seven key like in game because this game is like so in your face and fast paced and you can like literally rush to the the other side of the screen with one button. So it actually may be harder to pull off than it seems. But I still don't like it. <laughs> you know, so that that's really where I stand with that as of right now. But yeah, that's that's really my uh, current thoughts of the game. It is very fun to play. Fantastic visuals and transitions. I love the voiceovers. Um, when I was able to play it, I was surprised by the neck. <laughs> but now all all you freaking suckers have completely ruined my experience. <laughs> so now I can't play it no more freaking selfish bastards think about me for a <laughs> for <a> change <laughs> think about the people that were able to play it before you guys ruined it for all of us. <laughs> you know but um it's the things like um what are, what else are like the, the little small things and knowing how to like juggle your combos so like playing um, you know, say if, you know, you're playing as a cell and then like you're doing your combo and then you like throw them in, in other air and you're still doing combos, knowing how to juggle in that, knowing how to juggle that into a assist of someone else coming out and then going straight into their combo. I think it's like the little stuff like that, knowing how to like juggle combos and knowing how to, knowing when to use your assists and stuff like that, knowing when to teleport. And I think it's going to be like the small little nuances, almost like Smash Brothers, because Smash Brothers is also a very easy it's an easy game to pick up and like learn the controls. At least I feel like. But if you're going against a professional Smash player and you're just playing against some average, you're just playing against some average Joe who sometimes plays Smash Brothers. Yeah, he's gonna know the controls too. But he's most likely going to get bodied because that cause, because that Smash Pro knows all of the little you know things that really matter in in the game. So hopefully. Even though this game is easy to pick up and play, I'm hoping it kind of has that that uh, Smash Brothers, you know, thing to it, to where like the good players that really know what they're doing will always prevail. Because I kind of like my fighters with a learning curve to them, and I'm just not too sure how big this one is going to be. But outside of that, uh, those are my uh, 
thoughts of Dragon Ball Fighters, man. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. I do, I'm still getting this game. Like, just because I do kind of have, this is the first time I've actually had, well, even before I played this, the only question I had was the netcode. Like, how broken is this game? <laughs> like, how bad are the servers going to be once the game comes out? And, uh... It's kind of it's it's kind of a bad I, I don't know because it's again as soon as this beta became open to everyone these servers look like they just can't take it <laughs> so hopefully all this junk is solved when it comes out because I don't need no more MCC experiences bro that junk has haunted me for three years now <laughs> well damn near going on four years because that junk came out in what 2014 but we still have to start it this year but um. Yeah, those are my thoughts right now of Dragon Ball Fighters, man. Um, still a very fun game to play. Still buying this junk day one. Still hyped to play this. I ain't gonna use that word, but still excited to uh play this game and stuff like that. But I'm gonna be open-minded, you know, just to the stuff I'm seeing right now. But yeah, not everything. I mean, very rarely is a game perfect. So there's always going to be like little things or little questions you have about the game, things you're not too sure of. So that's the case with this so those are my first impressions of dragon ball fighters have have you guys played this junk yet um i know a lot of people who've been watching people play this game and you know they're trying to reserve judgment because a lot of people don't see the don't see this game lasting like past what two or three months like i know a lot of people think that this game is going to like once the hype dies down people are just going to move on and i am hoping that that does not happen for this game um, because it's just a fun, it, it, it's a very fun game to play, but I hope, I hope the lifespan is long, but yeah, those are my first impressions of uh, this game, uh, right now, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next video, alright, peace out my brothers and sisters, have a good rest of y'all day.